it's a bit strange for me to uh, have you here. First time I was here working, it was 38 years ago, and I was, what was I, two years younger than you are now. And uh, we stayed at the Repe over here. Ani and Per was taking care of us, and we were guiding, mostly Americans. And in a way, it was the start of me being professional in this fishing business. Here are the boys, Hawken and Peter. And we are here. We are happy to be here. What do you say, Jakob? We'll see. Following Dad's footprints. <laughs> anyway, nice. Okay, let's unpack the car. Well, for Trendelag, this is a super classic place. Uh, the tail of bridge pool at Rognes and uh, like this place put a few fish here way back and uh, now I just lost one right down there took right down there And uh, it's, I would say, quite exciting place to fish. You can fish it fast, you can skate it. You can fish deep in the, uh, outside the rock on the other side. And it's a pool to be varied and to fish with, uh, sorry, to fish with uh, different methods. Okay. Let's go fisking. Yeah, I hope you are right in the tail. To let Jacob know. Hey! It's a tiny little fish. It's the first gala fish in ages. What? Well, I haven't been here for some time. Maybe it's not the grills. No, it's not the grills. Yes, yeah, it's a good fish. No, it's not a grill. <laughs> yes, it is a grill. Have you heard that before? It's an exciting place. I've been running down here with clients. It's a long rapid to run. Get some or you lose some. <laughs> Look up just had a fish that pulled him. And we're trying to get a take on the film. And we'll see. We're at Golfos. Left bank. 
Try to get a little more speed, Jakob, if you try. If I have a fish that pull, I very often try to fish a bit faster or a smaller fly. What you can do is you square a little more and you get make that belly downstream. Perfect and move the rod down. Yeah, you do it beautiful. That way you get a good belly that will pull around and perhaps What do you think about golf also in Yoko? Pretty cool place. It's different from most pools you fished. It's big. Oh, it is big. Big and deep pool. But the tail is pretty cool. And uh, to fish this early season, when you have a lot of big fish coming in, resting down here, it's pretty cool. So we are yeah. in front of the old guide house and four of the original guides that started here in 84. Kleppe gutter på stan. But, but yeah. boys, I think that what happened here at early 80s was in a way kind of important for the de development on, on, on fishing for salmon, especially young, early fishing. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. When we first started in Gaulfos, people just left when we said we should fish fly. Yeah. yeah. There was a four year yeah. contract uh, with another group, and then the other group just fished prawn and spoon and worm. Yeah. And we said we should fish fly, and they just laughed at us. Mm. But we came from the Swedish tradition with fishing early season, deep cold water sea trout fishing. And I think that's we had a lot of knowledge that was not it was not here. What do you think, Hokan? Yeah, well, I mean, we I began with the flashable like in '80, and at the same time, uh, deep water express lines came on the market, mm -hmm. and that was a major event for the spring fishing back home, like in Murrum on the M, yeah. and so we brought that with us. Uh, when we came here. The tradition with fishing uh, uh, fishing heavy sinking lines and big flies, we had that in Sweden, it was not in Norway. In a way we brought it here, isn't that right? Because I remember 84 me and Leo was fishing on Orkla and I caught a fish 20 minutes past midnight, 8 kilos or something, and uh, they wrote about it in the papers. And it was all over the valley. The Swede caught one on the front fly. You go over on the 1st of June to Orkla now, or Gaulauer, any of these rivers, and you see the ma majority is fishing with a fly. Yeah. And they fish yes. from top to bottom in the river, yeah. more or less. Mm. It's a but big, no, big they difference. Don't, uh, they don't have any tradition to fish in the springtime, as we have in the river Murram and Am. That's, no. that's where we learned it, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. With the extremely cold water in March and April when you have to fish slow and deep. Mm -hmm. And of but course they don't do that here. So it was news for them that, that we took that knowledge and brought it here. Galfossen is one of Norway's best spring pools. And maybe for an ex unexperienced salmon angler, the easiest way to hook and play a large three or four winter fish. High water slow down the fish and there can be hundreds of big fish resting in that powerful tail. The tradition is hauling with one or two rods. The boatsman is the one fishing. Sure, it can be exciting when big fish show in the powerful tail, but hauling is to me not my salmon fishing for sure. Maybe I should say that in the early years and also this year, the powerful tail gave me nice fish waiting from the back. So, I never thought I would row my son in Galfossen where we used to work back in the early 80s 
And here we go, next generation, teaching the important things in life, how to enjoy. They don't have to teach him how to catch a lot of salmon on the fire, he already knows that. I'm going to teach him how to roll. Heavy current! Give him a hand. Here we go. Good boy. Take him above the boat there on the grass. That's a good place. It's just a grill, but First fish Jakob caught in Galfossen from the boat. Here we go. You go down and grab it. It's all yours. Don't pull him on the bank. Here's my plier. You want my plier? Let me see. Beautiful fish. So here we are. Roland is rowing. And um, we have one rod each hurling along in Gulf Falls, like the good old days. What do you say, my friend? Yes, since last time was 87, right? I think it was 87 yeah. or something. Yep. Bit passive, but uh, for me. But uh, I can take a snooze. <laughs> and we actually had one take already. I managed to shake it off on Roland's rod. It's a bit crazy here now. Roland is running down with one fish and I have one here. And uh, I don't, I need to help him. I need to get this fish in fast. And the filming and everything. Roland's fish went down the rapids. Down there and he's running. And I need to get this grills in first. Have to put the camera down here. How you doing? It's still there. Still running down or? It left, I got it into shore. Looked like a 10 silver. 10 silver. And then it just turned. Went down. Okay. It's like a pocket down here, Roland. <coughs> Tell me if you need help.
He's like he's in the pocket down there. Yeah. You're too old for this shit. Too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold you, old man. You tell me if you need help. You do okay. Good pocket to land it in. Shooting line coming in, Roland. Hello. Come to Come and bar hells up, boy. Well, my friend. Yes. That's why it's a bit, a bit of experience. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I just break the line. <laughs> That's good. Let me show you. All, all the fish in the water, please. It's a male. What is it? 90 centimeters. 90, 95. What would you say? Eight and a half kilos. Eight and a half, nine. I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, that was yeah. an adventure. Okay, let it go. Yep. Yeah, let it go. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me film it. Yeah, we're gonna do Stadion. And, uh, classic places here, right under the power line. And down here, and we're now in really high water. Jakob will try this, and I will go down. Other boys say below this it might be good. So we'll give it a try. 15 footer. Heavy line. And we'll see. I saw this good fish, 10 kilos. And I thought it was that. It was not, it was just the girls, but it's a really nice taste, right out in the glide. Perfect uh, for the big fish to come up here in this little back eddy.
Okay. These are on, on bigger fish than on the small ones. But. Sixty-seven. Coming down to Sata. Sätter hällan. It's quite high, but should be fishable. And uh, maybe it's the lowest part of the dust now. And finally, the rain is gone, and we have a dropping river and uh, still got some color to it it's actually beginning to look good again so we'll see this is a proof on how the btt and ttt works i wanted a little bit light of fly here and and uh ah, here we go a bit tricky and I uh, and on the gala they love with the green so what I do I just took a fluorescent green fits with a bit of mirage on top and I fish that behind the lion fly and I get the discreet sunshine fly with a tint of green too and um, we'll see I'm gonna fish it down here in Sather it looks very very nice just a couple of grills showing but we know there's some bigger fish in here Jakob just uh, fishing the other side now with Peter above him and we'll see coming down to Sather today one of GFF's most productive pools a holding pool where a big early June fish stop and fish tend to hold a bit before they travel on. Satter is one of the pools changing to the better every year. And to my knowledge, it also gets more and more interesting to fish. What do you guys think? Time to change? Or is it time to give the sweaty heart to this owner? You look better than usual <laughs> with a hat on. <laughs> so, how are you fishing, Hoka? Uh, it's good to be back on the river again. Uh, it's uh, in 2020. It was the first time, like in 40 years, I mm. wasn't here. Mm. So uh, it's good to be back. Good to be back with old friends as well. Yeah, and we have plenty of water, now it's uh, dropping away. Look, it's beginning to look nice up here now. What do you think? Tonight we're going to clean them out. I don't know. I think it, it's been... Uh, uh, the water has been so high for so long. I think it will take time for the fish to stop. There was a fish just uh, where when Roland left. <laughs> By the stone. By the stone. Okay. Take him from here on Roland's Road. I think you've been taking big fish on other people's road before. <laughs> I've happened once. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> okay, I'm helping Peter with dinner. And I see you guys soon. Shop. Sure. All the tail of Bruhalan. On Rognes. Isn't this just one of the most beautiful tail hats you can imagine? 
and exciting to fish. The run down here, you're in for a good run. And I uh, lost one here yesterday or a couple of days ago. And I managed to get him out of the tail, but uh, fell off maybe five kilos. But uh, exciting. It's early morning, uh, what are we, four o'clock? Light just came on and I walked down to set there. And uh, thinking on how to fish it, I put my 12.6 with a floater, uh, next felt floater, and then I picked a little uh, nobody. Uh, it's like a Green Highlander version and I'm gonna try it and it yes it blends in the water uh, let's see if I can show you and uh, disappearing in a way pretty cool I think See if I can show you how it looks under water. Plana in. So there, yeah. Do you see it then? So I got my bag nice. up there. I'm gonna do that. You can get it out without the pliers. I got the wrong rod. I got Peter's rod. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I thought the line was a bit light on me and now I see it's a, he's fishing a gold hook. We both yes. on the 14, 14 sailor. There you are. Well. Jakob is fishing Sverrehöland on Bogenrata. This used to be one of my favorite pools and also through my guiding years. This was just fantastic and uh, it's one of these pools that change and change and change every year and uh, there's been a lot of gravel moving down here and also filling up this uh, middle part has been bad for quite some time but I think maybe now looks there are some boulders and the wave of water is coming back and in a year or two maybe it will be uh, back to the good old days I know we fished here and Sverre who named who the pool is named after an old man coming down here fishing it and uh, he caught many fish here and so did we and uh, well next generations fishing it now he's been doing really well I think catching a few lost one a couple of hours ago Played it some time and it came off. That's what happens in summer fishing. You get some and you lose some. A quick run 
through bridge pool. Water is getting down to being good again. And uh, it was Roland and Hawkins beat, but they decided to go to the old cross. Found out <laughs> just half an hour and I uh, saw one and I had a really nice pull 20 meters above the bridge there in the middle and uh, didn't take proper and I couldn't get it to come again and I was fishing um, the next cast intermediate sink 3 and a little green samurai on a TTT using the 14 footer and uh, now it's time for another bit I don't know what we have on the schedule but uh, this used to be my favorite and the fish used to take right outside that birch tree uh, the pool has changed quite a bit uh, but um, and I think the fish are a bit further down now right down here but um, it's a nice place and uh, one of the places where that where the fish are gathering when the water is lower now I guess they just run it so a nice 10 kilo bright super bright actually fish here last night but I think that was just passing through Anyway, I, it's uh, it's uh, very special to be back here. I think it, it is. Uh, if, even if we think it meant a lot to 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 uh, the development of the Scandinavian style, many maybe other people think differently, but to us it meant a lot. Yeah, I mean, this turned uh, turned out to be my life chasing atlantic salmon on a fly it would never ever have happened if i wouldn't started here no no and you oh, ended well, up in here you you, yeah, you got stranded <coughs> yeah you got I stranded got back home. <laughs> i got stranded but i work with salmon fishing every year since 84 yeah up to now yeah and all kinds of been working with fishing. My life, yeah. you've been working with your I'm plants still, but I'm also still, yeah, with I'm fishing. still doing a few weeks of guiding every year i yeah. can't yeah. stop that no Oh, and it so took us to Argentina. Yes, it if did. it hadn't been for here, we hadn't been around. gone there. Yeah. Yeah. And it took me fishing yeah. around the world, met, meeting people like Jim Cox and mm. Nat Reed and these guys. Yeah, yeah. That without this, I would have ended up in a university somewhere, <laughs> doing yeah. something else. <laughs> no. yeah, that's so nice. yeah. Yeah. Okay, boys. Yes. We do what we best talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah, about well, going fishing? Well, some of us <coughs> are very good to talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but soon there will be some action, right? Action is coming, yes. So, where are you going? Uh, uh, we have to look at Lunch. the schedule. Lunch. Lunch first, <laughs> and then uh, maybe a little fishing and prepare dinner. I'm going to prep. <laughs> and strawberries. I yeah, think yeah, I'm going so. to prep for a nice dinner. Yeah. Uh, I hooked a little grills here, and uh, quite fun. He pulled me once, and then, then he took the fly. Tiny little fish.
nice little birds. Mm. Okay, I think. Not the biggest fish in the world. What a nice little grills. It's been here some time. Yep, last pass through Stadion and Jakob, the week is over. Uh, I don't know how to sum it up. We didn't catch as many as expected. Had a few. Uh, lost the biggest. It's like it's normal, he is maybe. What did you think about Gala, where I used to work? It's it's nice. It's a big river, or at least it's a long river. Uh, a lot of people fishing, which is nice, but also a bit different. Um, a lot of grills this week at least um, pretty few big fish and uh, yeah a few really cool pools oh. a few not so interesting pools um, yeah. we fished some good water i think eh? yeah this stadion this is nice yeah you had one that pulled your loop here first way through uh, but the fish been not really taking this week. We have a million theories on why, but we've been pulling and taking on the dangle and uh, not really aggressive on the swing. Uh, but the water has been up and down and it's been colder than maybe ever in July here. Uh, but. Um, and also this with the fertilizer from the fields washing out in the river. Well, it's, it's like it is. We have a million theories. But now we're packing up for some new adventures. And uh, saying bye to Gaula. Very special for me because here is where it's all started with the guys that we fished together with Roland and Hokan and also meeting Jonas and uh, Arne and Arnhild and a lot of people that was involved with with maybe the reason that I turned out to be a professional fisherman if that's what I am but you know and how to make this my living. And it was good to share it with you. You heard the stories, now you've seen it. Yeah. yeah. For me anyway, it's fantastic to share it with you. It's, uh, and this, we, we fished together and done a lot of fishing, many rivers, but sharing this with you was uh, very special. Now you've seen where it's all started. So, uh, and uh, it's all over. And I guess this will be the little uh, end to this little film. And, um, well, the big one got away. And uh, we couldn't give you that fight. But still, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. The Gala, Trandelag.